A lot of people think there's only a few kinds of highs that you can get, and it's based off the classification of the plant. They're like, well, you can either get this, or you can get this, or you can get some form of hybrid in between. But I wanted to hear a grower's perspective. How do they view those classifications? Let's hear from Stone Ninja. That's a long time. You could initiate veg time and grow it as big as you want, but the flowering time, you could only get a, a certain, you know, certain strains to flower so fast, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so and some of them, they date. They they take like 16 weeks, 24 weeks, crazy amounts of time. Is it better when it takes 24 weeks? Uh, you like... would assume there's certain ways to look at it to where like the amount of yield you get from those types of plants because of how big they are or the, the flower per square inch it produces yeah. is worth it. But half the time it's really not. You might have some strains where the end product is so psychoactive or potent where you kind of hallucinate from it, but it takes strains that run that long for that to happen. Those are kind of far and few. I, I've only really noticed those traits in sativa dominant strains where I have hallucinated or like tripped out. Not really. Yeah. I've never really had a visual hallucination, but like a audio hallucination, like hearing shit. I've, I've had that on week before. Off of something that flowered for a long time or took a long yeah, time? Yeah, off of, of a more sativa-dominant strain. Yeah. yeah. And that's what makes it sativa-dominant, is it is the longer flower time? or Usually, yeah. Textbook. Right now, there's so much, like, polyhybrid stuff. So polyhybrid just means, like, many crosses, basically. Mm -hmm. So you have a bunch of... There's a bunch of strains going on. Um, I think uh in time we're probably going to get away from the indica sativa part and go more towards like a wide leaf or a narrow leaf cultivar yeah. is what they would say just because of how hybridized everything is mm -hmm. there's it's, it's it would take a lot of work i don't want to say it's impossible but it would take a lot of work to really find a true sativa or true indica these days a lot of it's just mudded out even a lot of the things that are in rural areas in different countries they get a hold of like american genetics or other mainstream genetics and bring it onto their farm that has been like to a point like almost like land race or urban land race for their environment and they bring in other genetics that just kind of pollute that and yeah take from that integrity and i've heard of the the narrow versus wide leaf comparison or the classification of that. Do you think that that's a good way to do it? Because typically similar in, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of the uh, indica sativa stuff is going to kind of fade out. You only really hear that with like, the only time I ever really hear that talk between growers is like, well, it kind of looks sativa-ish. It kind of looks indica-ish or mm -hmm. like, it's not like this is 65% indica and 35% sativa. Oh, yeah, that's what I imagine. It's more like, it's, is it bushier? Is it lankier? Does it have narrow leaves? Yeah, we usually like this one's a, a lanky one. This one's a bushy one. This one likes to stretch or get big and bushy. This one likes to stay short and lanky. We just usually refer to like those traits. Yeah. That's where I think it matters more because, you know, like the sativas are going to have a longer time and the indicas, you know, you can have maybe fatter buds or bushier buds or something. Would you say it necessarily has like a definite play on the effects? Because I've seen like a lot of different stuff and a lot of different studies. <clears throat> Through all my years of, of smoking at the end of the day, I it comes down to how that person is. <laughs> uh, as far as their just their meant just as as they are as a person, their metabolism, um, their tolerance. There's a lot of variables. I yeah, feel like. it's not just the cannabis itself. I've had stuff where it's like, it's it's we'll call it a more indica dominant strain. I've smoked it with people, and they're like, bro, that was a good sativa, bro. I'm uppity and yada yada, and I'm like, okay, cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, 10 people all pass the same joint around and they all have 10 different highs. It's not like, sorry, this is the one high that's picked out for this strain. It's, yeah. Uh, that's so wild. Mm -hmm. They want they want you to tell them how they're going to feel before it happens. It's like, well, I don't know. Like, nobody knows. <laughs> like, you're going to get high and have a good time, I hope. Like, if I say yeah. that, I'm right 99% of the time. Unless, yeah, like, some 
I do. Like, you're probably going to get the munchies. Your mouth's going to get really dry. You're going to feel goofy and giggly. Like, I, don't know. I like it. So you, you referenced percentage earlier, like sativa, 70%. Like, is that just something that you, you discuss between each other? Like when it's, when something's crossed or do you label your stuff as no, you just crunching numbers and doing math on it? Cause you can't no. like test for it, right? There's no, it's, not, it's 48% sativa. It says it right here on the lab. There's 37% no, right here. There's no COA no. on that. No, uh, my friends and I joke about that more than we are serious when it comes to talking about if it's more sativa or indica dominant or the percentage of because no, when they say it at like the dispensary it's usually whatever it said at the seed bank or whatever the grower said it was it's it's not like like we were talking about there's no test for it so anything, it's just like a picked off, number yeah they'll go off of like your stereotypical like definition explanation of indica sativa you see those traits and then label it from there if you want to see the full uncensored version of my chat with Stone Ninja, it's on that green video website. Check out the top link of my link tree. I'll put it in the description.